The T-1000, also known as the Prototype Series 1000 Terminator. Introduced to us in the movie Terminator 2 Judgment Day, this Terminator was sent back in time to track and kill John Connor when he was a child. It was created by Skynet and its body is comprised of liquid metal. Now at the core, the material makeup is a form of mimetic polyalloy nanorobotics. This allows it to shapeshift into anything it touches. Now although its mass is limited, it can only morph into objects of equal size. It is not able to morph into firearms, chemicals, or a bomb. The ability to mimic other people gives it deceptive abilities amongst other humans and allows it to infiltrate high security zones. In most cases, it will mimic the body and appearance of a recently killed victim during its mission. Its body is able to form bladed weapons, either for attacking or for breaking objects or opening doors. Because of its liquid metal body, and its nanorobotic technology, the T-1000 is able to quickly heal its wounds. Small wounds are healed almost instantly, while damage from explosives will take longer to heal. Now if a part of the T-1000 is blown off, that piece will reattach itself. Now its design is more advanced than the T-800 models and appears to be immune to mechanical damage. Its shape-shifting ability allows it to walk through cages or even through thin crevices, which means it cannot be trapped by normal methods. Although firearms can still be used on the T-1000, they merely slow it down because of its ability to heal its wounds. Weapons like shotguns and explosives tend to cause bigger damage on the T-1000, which result in bigger holes that take longer to heal up. Now, it was also shown to chase after moving vehicles with great speed and endurance, with no signs of requiring any rest periods. Killing this Terminator is very difficult, as normal methods can only slow it down. There was a time when liquid nitrogen was used on it, the cold temperature froze its cells, which prevented them from moving. It was later shattered to pieces from gunfire. Although, the immense heat from a nearby pit of molten steel warmed up its shattered body, and was able to revert back to its original form and continue its mission. Now, the T-1000 in Terminator 2 was killed at the end of the movie by being hit by a grenade launcher. The explosion was so massive that it separated the T-1000's body on a big scale. It eventually would have healed up, but it ended up falling into a pit of molten steel. The immense heat melted away the nanorobots within its body. The T-1000 was finally defeated. So what do you think about the T-1000, and which Terminator is your favorite in the series? Put your thoughts in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to see more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching, my name is Asaglow, and I'll see you in the next video.